Hello everybody, welcome back to Vegas Sports Talk and we'll, it was a great game by the Golden Knights tonight. We'll get right into it. They are up one game to zero in the series. So early, Leonard and Crawford were starting in net for both teams. We learned about that earlier that today. This is Leonard's old team he's facing up against, so he knows the Blackhawks pretty well. And I like the, the decision by Peter DeBoer and after tonight's game, I think he'll be in the next game as well. Early, there was a two-on-one break for the Chicago Blackhawks. Doc could not get the shot away. And that was all because there was a great defensive play by Theodore. He shut down Doc. He couldn't get that. He wasn't able to get that pass through. He was too far by the net. He couldn't get the shot away. So that was a great defensive play by Theodore on the two-on-one. Tuck had a breakaway. He missed that shot just high and wide. It was a great chance. And then Leonard had a good save and close. 16.45 remaining. And then Kubelik tried to stuff one in, but Leonard to hold tight there. Crawford made a big glove save on Max Pacioretty, and then there was a big hit by Ryan Reeves, and there was, it was a very good shift by the VGK's fourth line. The Golden's fourth line played okay in the first period, but after, in the second and third period, they picked up their game. Shots on goal were 4-4 four four with 8-18 remaining in the period, and the first period was kind of slow, not many whistles, quick game. I think the first period got done like 25 minutes, and it was a very quick period. There was a 4-on-3 rush, for the Vegas Golden Knights, Crawford saved Carlson's shot, and as I and, and as I was saying, Crawford was looking good for Chicago in the first 15 minutes, and there was not many whistles in that period. There was no shots for Chicago since 13 minutes, and the Golden Knights were playing really good defense at that point. Then, over the past 10 minutes of the period, the shots favored the Golden Knights six to one, and the Golden Knights were controlling the period, and both goalies were looking good. So at the end of one, it is zero zero, and the Golden Knights are starting to control play at that point. So we go into the second period. Schmidt could not clear the puck and Taze the crossbar early in the period. And then the Blackhawks are controlling play and they hit another post after Leonard's blade broke. Um, his blade broke his blade broke twice in that period and if it wasn't and the second time around it was on the power play. So that was very disturbing for the Golden Knights. Crawford had a really good save after a Nate Schmidt shot, and then after that, Crawford misplayed the puck, and Stevenson had made a centering pass from Nick Cousins, and Cousins could not connect. It was a great, great pass from Stevenson. Nick Cousins just wasn't expecting it. Taze and um, Marcheseau got into a little scrum after an offsides call, and then Theodore shot, and then Theodore has a shot, and it goes short side on Crawford, and he scores. He scores from Smith and Martinez at 7:22, and that was a big goal in that in that period. The Sh Chicago only had two shots in the last 21 minutes, and Chicago had a good chance right after that Theodore goal. Now, as I was saying, two shots in 21 minutes is not going to cut it in playoff hockey, especially against the Vegas Golden Knights. Then a little bit later, William Carrier scores from Rees and Watt at 9:39, and it was a great play by Rees and Watt. William Carrier just stuffed it back into the back of the net. But then the Blackhawks challenged for offsides. The goal was confirmed. It was kind of close, but the state, the skate of Ryan Reeves is still up in the, was still on the ground, and it, it was a clear goal. So it was confirmed, and the Golden Knights get a power play. And I was thinking at this point, okay, if the Golden Knights can score on this power play, this game's done. But on that Golden Knights power play, Theodore committed a bad turnover in the defensive zone. And Camp score from Saad at 10:51. It was a shorthand goal, and that's when the game kind of flipped in that second period. The pressure was going back to the Chicago Blackhawks. They were playing better, and Robin Leonard had to make some key saves after that to even get keep the Golden in this thing. Then after that, um, Doc tripped Riley Smith. Up. There was a five on three for six seconds, but then Chicago cut off both those penalties. But they did have. The Golden Knights were on that power play when they gave that shorthand goal, so they still had a five on three to deal with. Patrick Train had a real good chance. Leonard had a good save, and then as and then there was a penalty on McNabb for holding Kubelik with four or forty remaining. And as I was saying earlier, Leonard lost his blade on that penalty kill, and the Chicago Blackhawks had a couple of good chances to step in the back of the net, and they could not. So that was very lucky for the Golden Knights right there. Because if they score, if the Chicago Blackhawks score there, it's a totally different game. The shots on goal were 21 to 14 in favor of the Golden Knights, and the Golden Knights killed a penalty. Duncan Keith had a good chance, but Leonard saved it. 
So we go into the third period, it is two to one in favor of the Vegas Golden Knights. But as I was saying, the game was starting to get tighter and it looked like the Chicago Blackhawks were trying to get the momentum and they were trying, but they could not. Stone's wrist shot hits past ready in front. He was shaken up afterwards. He went to the bench, but he came back later in the game. He was perfectly fine, but it looked like it did hurt him in that instance. Smith's shot um, goes off of Crawford's shoulder and right into the back of the net. So Riley Smith scores unassisted at 332. It's 3-1 to one Golden Knights, and this is when the game was officially over in my book because the Golden Knights were starting to play better. It was a good break for the Golden Knights, and they just shut it down after that. Then Riley Smith hit the crop, hit the post, and there was chance for both teams at that point. Um, then there was a two-on-two -two for the well, it was a two-on-two -two break. There was a great saucer pass from Marshall to Smith, and Smith Smith scores from Marshall at eight fourteen, and that made it four to one, and that's when the game was basically over at that point. There was a big block by Ryan Reeves in the defensive zone. He had some good blocks um, tonight. And the Golden Knights were getting down to block those pucks, and that was very important in tonight's game. There was then a power play for the Blackhawks after Martinez holding penalty. And the Golden Knights kill off that, that penalty, but on that power play, Kane's wrist shot hits the post. Leonard had a couple of key saves, but he saved those pucks. They kill off the, the power play. And the Chicago did, did not pull Crawford down three with two eight remaining. And the Golden Knights are up one to zero in this series. Team stats, so we'll go with shots per period. Chicago, in the first period, the Vegas Golden Knights outshot Chicago 9-5. They outshot Chicago 12-9 in the second and 12-6 in the third. The Vegas Golden Knights outshot Chicago 33-20 in the game. Power plays, both teams are 0 for 2. Penalty kill, they are both 2 for 2. Three stars, Riley Smith, he had two goals and an assist. Jonathan Marshall, so, and is Robin Leonard, who had a great game as well tonight. He saved 19 of 20. Crawford saved 29 of 33. And the next game is Thursday at 2.30, and I expect Robin Leonard to start in goal again on Thursday. And I know many Golden Knight fans want to see Flurry in that net, but if Leonard's playing this great, you have to keep him in there. So there you guys go. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Vegas Sports Talk. Make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment. Comment. How do you feel the Golden Knights did today, and how what do you think this series will end up? Golden Knights in 4, 5, 6, 7, or Chicago in, four, in 5, 6, or 7. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.